Hello everybody, you guys are back just in time for another wacky video, and I mean wacky, this one's a little bit off the rails, but not to worry, I have Boomer here to help me, so uh, let's go check in on him. Hey Boomer, I need you to... Should I be worried? You're right, it's probably nothing. Well, that was weird. Anyway, back to content. Your videos suck, dude. I know. Speaking of sucking, hey, yo! How about changing your life? We got some new merch on the website. Raptor R plus the cash, this much cash, and you get a chance to win it. There's an entry multiplier going on right now, so now is the best time to enter. Times 25 entries for every dollar spent. $30,000 in cash and the Raptor R. That's like $150,000 worth of stuff. And you can win it by buying any one of the products from 717supply.com. Find that link in the description. First link. The more stuff you buy, the better the chances are to win. But we've had plenty of winners who have just bought a simple key tag or sticker. So if the budget's tight, don't count yourself out. I want to change your life. Let's make it happen. This Raptor R is insane. Given the 717 supply treatment, and I don't say that lightly, I do not say that lightly. Given the 717 supply treatment can look absolutely incredible. Just a showpiece, classic, off-roading, all-American 4x4. And it's f***ing fast. So fast, it beat Mike's TRX. So hit that up in the description. Thank you guys so much for the support. Good luck. Beautiful morning here at the Boneyard. Shane's Bone Yards. We're here to rescue a truck from the grave. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm the executioner today. We'll see how this goes. The GMC Yukon. It's been through it. We put it through its trials, but we're here to take it home. All right. Should be charged. Oh my God. Batteries never get any lighter. All right. Here we go. Oh no. She's dead dead. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Signs of life. I'm a car YouTube channel and I can't even jump a damn battery and a good battery at that. If you ever are worried about like, can I accomplish my dreams? I don't think I'm worthy or able of doing this. I am a car truck YouTube channel. I can't even jump a battery. Go get it kid. Chase your dreams. Back to base. Damn it. All right, enough screwing around. Battery charger, this little power pack. All right, see if that works. Six hours later. Boom! Off camera, got the truck started. Everything was good to go. Listed on Facebook Marketplace for 1500 bucks. Had a guy come over with his wife. He's like, yo, I got a tow truck coming. It's all gonna be good, and I'm like, doesn't need to be towed. I mean, you could drive it, but I mean, I guess if you want to, you want to tow it, whatever. There is a fly near. Oh my god, a big ass fly! Bam! Yeah, he's dead. Anyway, he shows up with his wife. We walk over to the vehicle. He walks around it, spends like maybe 15 seconds looking at it, walks slowly back to his vehicle with his wife following him. Opens the door. I think he's gonna hand me the cash. Climbs in, shuts the door. I'm standing right outside, like right right outside the door starts his vehicle up and all through this i'm like he's grabbing his cash okay he must be hot so he's turning on the ac and he knows his buddy's on the way with the tow truck so that's what he's waiting for he puts it in gear and i just stare at him blankly from like three feet away street sweeper how do you get that job street sweeper any street sweepers out there he backs the truck up slowly and then just leaves and doesn't say a word and i messaged him like five minutes later is like i'm gonna take you you're not interested didn't say goodbye nothing he was like yeah i'm definitely buying this does one walk around and then leaves. Anyway, I got one more person coming. We're gonna see if they buy it. This is why I love Facebook Marketplace. Sorry for the echo in the new house. And like I said, we just moved in, so nothing really hung on the walls. Anyway, $2,000 just sold the Yukon for. And the reason for that, because I had it listed for $1,500, I had two guys show up and say they wanted nothing to do with this machine. And I was about to lower the price. Like, honestly, I would have taken like 800 bucks for it. And then all of a sudden, I have two guys getting a massive bidding war. Well, massive, 500 bucks, but that's nothing to sneeze at. So 500 extra dollars, two grand I sold this for when I was ready to sell for 800 bucks. So. This has to go towards a new machine, a new off-roading machine. We got to keep it updated. Got to keep it fresh on the channel here. So we're going to hit a Facebook marketplace and see what 
off-roader we can find. Here's this video currently being edited. So for only two grand, it's not gonna get you that much. So I may have to throw a little bit extra on the top, but doesn't matter. This uh, this was a good payday. Let's get hunting. Just scratching the surface here with what Facebook Marketplace has to offer. I mean, it's insane. You find a Jeep Comanche here right off the rip. A Little bit of weird modifications here. It looks like a custom hood on this. And uh, yeah, the front logo definitely looks a little bit aftermarket, but overall seems like it's in good condition and it's running and driving. A Little bit pricey for what you're getting here. And these are typically like a long bed. I don't even know if they make these in a short bed, but imagine just throwing a little lift kit on this, some wheels and tires. I mean, it'd be a great little junker off-road rig for Roush Creek. Not my first pick, but a little rare, and you don't see them too often, uh, especially in this kind of condition. Also, we just have regular Jeeps here that are very affordable. $2,500 for this or best offer, so it could talk them down to like $2,000, maybe even less. But apparently it does not run. He says that the problem could be easy or difficult. Usually that whenever that's the case, they know exactly what's wrong with it uh, and they're trying to dump it because if it was easy to fix, you would just fix it and get like an extra $6,000 for a Jeep that's in this type of condition. Yeah, there's a couple other things wrong with it, but overall a Jeep like this should definitely get over $5,000. So I think I would also pass on this, uh, but yeah, never had a Jeep on the channel. It'd be kind of cool to just switch it up and have something that is out of the box, ready to go off-road capable just like my Colorado ZR2, because with anything old like this, I would have to build it myself and put a lot of time and work into it. This Chevy here, I've been, it's been on here for like six months for whatever reason. I know it says it was just listed, but yeah, this has been up and reposted over and over and over again. Crew cab, you like never see this from this generation. Uh, it's pretty rare. And this one's in decent condition. It looks like it was modified to fit this crew cab, but we could do an also like just not an off-road build, just make something super clean. Um, again, out of these three, I would probably go with the Jeep Comanche just because it would be kind of cool to pick something up like that. But the other two, like this, uh, I don't know. Not really my cup of tea. And then sticking with the OBSs. We can switch it up or we can stick with the OBSs. Uh, this one's been sitting at a field for a little while, but he says it runs and drives. It just needs a fuel line. So it doesn't run and drive. But uh, that's no problem. I can fix that by myself. I feel like I have the knowledge to do that. Um, and we have the trailer so I can go pick it up and then it's ready to go. And we can just make this a nice little off-road build or just a nice classic cool pickup truck. Now my favorite and so far the front runner of uh, my picks for these off-roading rigs is this Toyota. It's a 1998 Toyota 4 runner, four wheel drive. It was absolutely in an accident. The front bumper's jacked up. The driver's side door is also crumpled in and the rear bumper is tilted up a little bit, but for $1,800 or what is it, $1,600? I don't see how you can go wrong. It says it runs strong. Yes, it's going to need a few things here just to make it like super nice, but it's a Toyota and it's a cool old Toyota 4Runner. So I'm super into this. I know they're dogs uh, and you don't really see these out on the trails too often, but this would be my bread and butter. I would love an old Toyota like this. Plus it says or best offer. Now it's obviously coming from a dealership here. So they're going to want to stick to their guns. Um, and then you have taxes and stuff like that, which normally on private sales, you can make those work around a little bit, but yeah, at a dealership, everything's on the books and done right. So, uh, yeah, you kind of be stuck to the, you kind of be stuck paying the government their fair share, which is totally right. You should always do that. But just looking at this thing, say I could talk them down to like $1,200 taxes and tags. I'd be up to like 1800 bucks. I mean, this would be perfect. So cool. And it looks clean enough to daily. And then we get to this machine here. Little bit expensive, but for what you're getting, this is probably what it's worth. The little Tonka Toyota truck. This is so cool. Single cab, short bed. This is like the Marty McFly dream build. I've been talking about this since the second video I've ever posted on this channel that I want a truck just like this. I would prefer it in black. And then you run the KC lighting and all that cool stuff. But for six grand and for what we just sold this truck for, we would only owe $4,000 more. This would be so cool. I'd hate to beat it up on the trails, but imagine how this truck would look with some aftermarket parts on it. Now, yeah, it'd be cool to keep it original, but it'd be so much fun to modify this thing, make it our racing zone and make it my own. So my two choices here are between this Toyota. Sorry that the pictures are awful. I don't really have a choice on uh, what they post or the 4Runner. Both of these would be great. Be the first Toyotas on the channel and I'd be so into it. Oh yeah. And if you're wondering, the four messages up here, that is for the trailer rental. And that's just today, just this morning, actually, for the trailer rental business. So I get easily five inquiries a day at minimum. And every single one of them is like, can I pick up now? Uh, can I pick up tonight? And I'm going to rent for three days, rent for four days. I mean, it's been crazy. But anyway, this video is about the new off-roader. So let me know what you think, because you guys drive the channel. And a lot of these have been posted today. So like we can jump on this and get it done. I'm posting this video a day after this recording. So they should all be available. Let me know in the comments exactly what you want. And if none of these are your first pick, let me know also, because then we can switch it up. We can do whatever. Facebook Marketplace has everything. I even saw a uh, Suzuki Samurai on here in great condition for pretty cheap. And they're getting kind of rare, so I'm into it all. That's all she wrote. Like, so always appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this and see what the new off-road build is. Bye-bye. <laughs>